Thank you for tuning into today's powerful broadcast. Coming up next on Revival Time. And the crowd, where the crowd stop? They stopped. If it just Marian was making love, you have to get up and move with God. If you were cooking a pot and the cloud up here, preaching me, preacher, you had to move with God. If you were building a shed and the cloud up here, you had to move with God. Come on, talk to me. God the Holy Ghost is moving us on. He's leading the way. It's a way we have never gone before. There are mountains to climb. There are valleys to cross. But before us, we can see an open door. Tell the Lord, lead me. Hold me by my hand. Lord, don't let me faint. I want to be your bride. When the way gets dark, keep me by your side. When the way gets weak, when my faith gets weak, hold me, let me feel. There's something in my heart that the Lord has done for me. People of the living God, I beseech you, I warn you to move with God. Don't move with the crowd. Don't move with your family. Don't move with the godless. Don't move with the atheists and the communists and the agnostics and the skeptics. Move with the people of the living God. Somebody give him praise. Don't change that dial. We'll be right back. welcome you on board the apostolic family revival time family i welcome you and your family and your loved ones today and i thank god for all those who are here in the house and all those who have joined us across the nations and you will agree with me that there's a crisis of pulling down i said that we can that God went before them in a cloud, a pillar of cloud. And any, listen to me, let me talk to you out of my spirit, out of my meditation. They did not know where they were going. They did not have a road map and what they came think. GPS, thank you. You pray with me. They never had a GPS. Thank you. Our road map. And the way was filled with trouble and problem. Just like you and I, we are going somewhere and we don't know the road. And we don't know when death and sorrow and sickness and heartache will attack us. So God is leading us by his spirit. Sit down. Listen to me evangelist, you got to preach. Listen to me preacher. He said in Genesis, in Exodus 13, 21, and the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them the way and by night a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night I don't have any notes I don't have any notes Sit down. I'm preaching by divine revelation lines up with the word 
So it is that the Lord lead them. Are you praying? Are you just sitting down there? So it is that the Lord led them in a cloud, a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. So it is with us. He said, it is evident that I go. For if I go not, the Holy Ghost will not come. But if I go, I will pray the Father to send you the Holy Ghost, which will lead you and teach you and guide you and show you the way that you must go. Sit down. Are you hearing me? Is the church hearing me? But we're having a crisis in pulling down the glory of God, the power of God, the anointing of God in our service. We have a problem. Sit down. Let me tell you what God said. It's a crisis of spirit. Put that in your spirit. A crisis of spirit. For God the Holy Ghost. Don't go to some of the places we call church. God the Holy Ghost. Don't lead some of the men we call pastors and apostles and prophets. They're in the flesh. In some of the places you go to worship. Fashion, breast, leg and tie. That's all you find there. Breasts, legs and tie. God is not there. The spirit is not there. The anointing is not there. The glory is not there. But some of you still go there. So there is a crisis of spirit. How do you know where to go and how to get there? If God the Holy Ghost is not leading the church. Some of the men leading the church are haters, wicked, hobia workers, full of sin, flesh and the devil. They hate one another, dislike one another. Come on somebody. They speak against each other. There's no love. There's no compassion. There's no mercy. There's no grace. Just give me my money. Give me my money. People in line pray for your bishop. Sit down. They treat you like trash. And they treat you like you're nobody. They don't pray for the sheep. So we have starving sheep. And overfed shepherd overfed shepherds and starving sheep a crisis of spirit nobody's leading them nobody's guiding them except their flesh and their ego and so and so the people of God have become blind dumb and deaf they don't know where they're going they don't know who is leading them they don't know about the God of the Bible they don't know about the anointing and the power and the victory of God because God don't go there no more I don't care what you want to say I'm going to tell you what God tells me all about money and building sit down who has the most people 
Who has the most people? Who carries the most degree? They're not after God. They're after the flesh. There's a crisis of spirit. Sit down, church. Who's the apostle who have doctorate? Nobody wants to be pastors. Everybody wants to be doctor. Doctor of what? You can't even talk good English, but you're a doctor. Sit down, sit down. Sit down. Who ordain you? Who call you? Who appoint you? Who anoint you? Who ordain you? Who call you? Who anoint you? Who appoint you? Who you following? What you watching? The crowd? Crisis, crisis in the church, in the church. People are following the crowd, not the cloud. The cloud is the anointing, the power, and the glory of God. People are following the crowd. If you don't carry a crowd, you're not preaching. Lie, lie. Noah didn't have a crowd. Elijah didn't have a crowd. Right, the cloud. In the crowd for me. I'm going to talk to you today. Sit down. Some people believe if you don't have a crowd, you're not preaching. Big life on the gates of hell. He said, Where two or three gather, I'm in the midst. Open up your mouth and say, Lord, I thank you. Where two or three are gathered, I'm in the midst. God didn't deal with a crowd, He deal with a person. God never call a crowd. God call personality. And I'll prove that if I had time, I would prove it from Genesis to Revelation that God don't deal with a crowd. He deals with a person. Woman, hear what I'm saying? And the crowd, where the crowd stop, they stopped. If you just marry and was making love, you have to get up and move with God. If you were cooking a pot and the cloud up here, preach with me, preacher, you had to move with God. If you were building a shed and the cloud up here, you have to move with God. Come on, talk to me. God the Holy Ghost is moving us on. He's leading the way. It's a way we have never gone before. There are mountains to climb. There are valleys to cross. But before us, we can see an open door. Tell the Lord, lead me. Hold me by my hand. Lord, don't let me faint. I want to be your bride when the way gets dark keep me by your side when the way gets weak when my faith gets weak hold me let me feel there's something in my heart that the Lord has done for me people of the living God I beseech you I warn you to move with God don't move with the crowd don't move with your family don't move with the godless. Don't move with the atheists and the communists and the agnostics and the skeptics. Move with the people of the living God. Somebody give him praise. There's a crisis in the church. A crisis of love.
I heard you with it this morning. A crisis of love. Hardly you find lovers in the church anymore. You find more grumblers, more haters, more backbiters, more troublemakers, more complainers, more deceivers, more hypocrites than you find lovers. Though I give my body to be burned, though I see things mysteriously and know things, talk to me preacher, though I give my body to be burned and have not love, I said there's a crisis in love. Jesus said love one another as I have loved you. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and I have not charity, I become a sounding brass and a tinkling cymbal. Sit down, let me preach. Give me the next verse. And though I have the gifts, come on preacher, a prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge and though I have all faith so that I remove mountain and have not love, I am nothing. Sit down. Sit down. Examine your love department. We're so hostile, hill-mannered, hill-mannered, hostile, revengeful, evil, perverse, wicked, hill-talking, talk back, shot back, abuse you. They will even fight you coming out of a service. No respect, no respect for authority. Sit down, church. I'm preaching. Just pray for Brother Gigi. Just coming out of a Holy Ghost service and you're behaving like a raga muffin. No character. You have preaching, but no character. You have title, but no character. You have looks, but no character. You can preach, but no character, no love, no respect, no compassion, no kindness. You know Genesis from Revelation, but you have no love. There's a crisis of love, a crisis of the spirit in the church. I'm talking about the church. I'm talking about the church. Worldwide. I don't think I'm just talking here. I'm talking about worldwide. Sit down. Mighty God. Rain or fall, you think they would give you a ride? You can't go in that car. You're not, you're not tidy enough. Everywhere, crisis of love everywhere. Thank you. Let my life speak for me. I don't have to project myself. You know me. And I know some of you. And some of my followers online know me. And they know my ability to comp My ability to listen. To cry. To holler. To weep. To mourn with you. So don't judge me by my microphone. When I put down this microphone, I'm a different man. Compassion is my middle name. Love is my middle name. Sweetness is my middle name. Compassion is my middle name. Love drives me, wakes me up, puts me to sleep. Ask my wife, I'm tough like crucible steel. But I'm a lover man. 
I know what it is to love. I know what it is to cry. I know what it is to have compassion. I know what it is to have mercy. I hate no man. Don't care what you've done me. Look at Inspector. He has become my best friend. One of my best friends. He was sent. He was sent to arrest me for preaching the gospel. Sit down. We are like we are today. Brother Gateman set the chairs. Just like we are. No preacher announced protocol and follow protocol like me. I'm pretty rigid and protocol. My chairs are six feet apart. I follow protocol. Yet he was sent to take me out. He never checked. He never looked. He never checked. He was sent to take me out. But God. Come on, talk to me. I said, but God. And what was meant for evil became my good. And you see him come here apologize. And he loves me now like rice and peas. And he respect the man of God. Because he never know who he was messing with. Tell the enemy you don't know who you're messing with. I don't know when to stop praying. Come on, I don't know. I don't know when to stop praying. I don't know when to stop hollering. I don't know when to stop crying. You're messing with the wrong man. Mr. Lover, Lover. Bishop Gigi, thank you so much. Mr. Lover, Lover. You remember that song? Lover, Lover. There's a crisis. Believe what I'm saying. You see it, you hear it, you feel it. You know it. Let go in a sister out of UWI. Said Gigi, let go. I had not prayed for him yet. I had not interceded for him to embarrass me. I did not tell God about it. I was weighing. Touch not my anointed. And do my prophet no harm. So if you come to do me harm. I got to defend myself. I got to apply to the most high. Appeal to the most high. I have to ask angel to build up a firewall and a fire screen around my life. Then I have to ask God that the pits you have dug for me let you fall therein. Good God, I feel like preaching. I said I feel like preaching. The pit you have dug for me, you shall fall therein. Nothing comes against this man of God that God doesn't wipe out. Sit down. Nothing come against you that your Lord don't fight for you. Oh God, I don't touch that yet, sister couple. The Lord shall fight for you God said you stay behind me let me fight your devils you stay behind me let me fight your obia worker and your iniquity worker you stay behind me let me fight your gossip monger and those that are talking about you let me fight them stay behind me Exodus 14 14 the Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. So go on. Go on mess with me. Go on trouble me. Go on scandal me. Go on talk about me. Go on trying to send blow and witchcraft. The Lord shall fight for me. And Psalm 35 fight against them that fight against me take hold of shield and buckler 
and stand up for my help. Take hold of their shield and their buckler. Draw out the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, the Lord is my deliverance. Woman, I say you don't have to work obia and witchcraft. The Lord is your deliverance. Let God fight for you. It is more rewarding. It is more pleasing. It is more enjoyable when you see God fight your battle. Nobody can lock you up when God fights for you. Nobody can criticize you when God fights for you. Nobody can fight you back when God is fighting for you. I see online, let God fight for you. Tell God about your troubles. Tell him about your heartache. Tell him about your persecution and your discouragement. I must tell Jesus. All of my troubles. I cannot bear my burdens alone. I must tell Jesus. Sit down a little while. Jesus can help you. Don't hate nobody. Don't hate nobody for no reason. My sister at the UWI said, let it go, Gigi. Let it go. And look today what the Lord has done. Take it from your pastor. Those that hate you and fight you and malign you. Try to work iniquity and witchcraft. Trying to kill you and manipulate you trying to send you your children to madhouse and you know it and you know it and you know it god said let it go let me take care of them shout god will take care of them vengeance is mine i will repay Fight for me, Lord. Fight for me. Sit down. That is why some of my folks in line celebrate me. Because you know what they are. You know, we don't have no church up here, Bishop. And we don't go to church. We, we work so much we can't go to church. No church, not up here. So thank God for revival time that comes my direction. And they celebrate me and they love me. And they pull for me. And there are those who can't stomach me. Because you bowl straight up to your stump. But even if I bowl the stump, they cry and holler. And repent. And next week they're still with me. I don't give them no gimmicks. When they're sick, I pray for them. When they're down in spirit, I encourage them. When they need a word of revelation, I give it to them. When I need a word of hope, I give it to them. No gimmicks. We're following the C-L-O-U-D. We're not following the C-R-O-W-D. Listen, listen. I was meditating this morning. Man in prison right now, paying the penalty of hell for following false prophet. Dead and gone, and you're in prison, charged for murder. For following false prophet. Listen. Crisis. We just passed through a devil hell crisis the other day. 
in Jamaica and many keep quiet not a word not a word not a word but we are not blind we are not dumb and we are not deaf we can analyze things and see things we know things and things have been revealed to us but the day is coming when God said drop your pants and split your skirt and everything that was done in the darkness shall be revealed somebody praise God come on church so I said to you keep your hands the devil let me tell you something the devil don't care the bad if Obia man could kill anybody be sure Gigi you would have come to Gigi's Cooper funeral long time if a witch could take me out I am the only preacher they would have take out woman you hear what I say woman you hear what I say and some of you call me Obia church Obia man all kind of name Because we don't mix up. Don't mix up your God with witchcraft and evil. That's why God said you didn't run well, but who did hinder you? Sit down a while, let me talk. Today fasting, we're going to pray in a little while. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? He that have a clean hand a pure heart who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor so deceitfully he shall see the glory of God and the righteousness of his salvation I tell you my folks I love you so much there's nothing under the sun sit down there's nothing under the sun that I have not taught this church and show you how to fight show you how to live show you how to be an overcomer show you how to get victory on your enemy show you how to let your enemy fall in their own ditch and how to come out shouting he that have a clean hands if your hands have been defiled tell God to wash you and cleanse you keep your hands clean keep your hearts pure your heart pure and don't lift up your soul to vanity. Emptiness of emptiness. Sit down. I know it hurts. I know it hurts. Especially if you used to go to Hobia Man before you come on this church. I know it hurts. Please know that I know. You sit down in my service but it hurts. But let it be a lesson. You said, Bishop, I never go to kill anybody. I only went to look. Look what? What, what you looking for? I know, some of you, I know, I, I know, please. I, I love you. I know it hurts to sit down before me in my chair when you know that you're not clean. When you know you work Hobie and witchcraft, I know it hurts. But make it be a lesson. So if you leave here and go over there, another Holy Ghost man of God will find you. And if you leave there and go over here, another Holy Ghost elder will find you. And if you go down there, another Holy Ghost man of God will find you. Sit down. Let me teach you something. Dear ones, I know some people don't know Bible. So when me preaching and put up certain subjects, they don't know how dear it is to us. And they don't watch it. 
Watch America, they don't touch it. Because they don't know what is on it. And they don't know what is in it. And they don't know the value and the purpose. Listen, let me teach you. The king, Saul, who was he? Prime minister, president, he was a king that people had to bow down to. And Saul just went to look. He went down to the witch, bring it up, of Endor. He disguised himself and went, he just went to look. He didn't go to kill David, he didn't go to kill Philistines, he just went to look. Just bring up brother Samuel for me. Bring up the prophet. I want to talk to him. I want some knowledge about the battle tomorrow. Let's read it. Then said the woman, the mother woman where you are going to, whom shall I bring up unto thee? And he said, bring me up Samuel. And the woman saw Samuel. She cried with a loud voice. And the woman spake to Saul saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art King Saul. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid for what thou seest. For what seest thou? And the woman said unto Saul, I see God's ascending out of the earth and he said unto her what form is he of and she said an old man cometh up and he is covered with a mantle David are you following he's covered with a mantle and Saul perceived it was Samuel and he stood with his face to the ground and bowed himself. Watch now, watch what's going to happen here. And Samuel said to Saul, to the king, Why hast thou disquieted me to bring me up? Is a devil stalking? For the dead know nothing. A demon is stalking. A demon imitates Saul, imitates Samuel. Why? Hast thou disquieted me to bring me up? And Saul answered, I am sore distressed. For the Philistines make war against me. And God is departed from me. You know why you go to Obia man? God is departed from me. And he answered me no more. Neither by dreams nor by neither by prophets nor by dreams therefore i am come to thee that thou mayest make known unto me what i shall do yes. sit down a while it's a witch talking then said samuel wherefore then dost thou ask of me seeing the lord is departed from thee and is become thine enemy read 17 and the lord hath done and the Lord have done to him as he spake by me. For the Lord have rent the kingdom out of thy hand and give it to thy neighbor, even David. Because thou obeyest not the voice of the Lord, nor executed his fierce wrath upon Amalek. Therefore hath the Lord done this thing unto thee this day. Moreover, the Lord will also deliver Israel with thee, with thee, with thee into the hand of the Philistines. And tomorrow thou shalt be with thy sons. Thou and thy sons shall be with me. You're dead as a dog tomorrow. The Lord also shall deliver the house of Israel into the hand of the Philistines. You got to read up. You hear what a man read you up and tell you? Sit down, sit down. You hear what a woman read you up and tell you? You hear what Samuel I tell you? If you never know, you're going to know now. Tomorrow you and your son shall die and come to be with me. And God shall deliver Israel into the hand of the Philistines. 
Sometimes you go for good news and you receive bad news. Sit down. Verse 20 and I finish. Sit down. Sorry, baby. Sorry, baby. Sorry, baby. I have to preach like this. Then Samuel fell straight word all along the earth. He fell. Then Saul fell straight long along the earth. And he was so afraid because the words of the Lord, the words of Samuel, and there was no strength left in him for he had not eaten no bread all day. Nor all night. Sit down. Brethren, it's a dreadful thing. Sit down. It's a dreadful thing. It's a dreadful thing to ever visit a witch or a holy man and to be defiled. You wonder why Brother Gigi preached it? God put it in me all day to preach it. So I warn Jamaica, I warn the world, I warn the church, keep far, keep away from witches and warlock and evil. Keep far from them. Trust in the Lord. And they said, I'm a Hobia man. And I have a Hobia church. And I'm saving you out of hell fire. I wear one ring and that's my married ring. I wear one watch and my daughter gave it to me. Check my toes. Check my shoes. Check my car. Check my house. Check my church. Check my, my wife. Check all of us. See if you find anything that belongs to her in my house. Check my house. Sit down. Sit down. Which one of you have I bought? Which one of you have I bought since you were coming here? I ask you a question. You can't answer me. Say, which one of you have I bought? Which one of you have I charged for a prayer cloth? Which one of you have I charged for a bottle of water? Which one of you have I charged for an olive oil? Talk it out. Talk it out. See there. See there. Regard not them. It seems like you're one of them. You, you have been. You, you have been. Never. Regard not them that have familiar spirits neither seek after witches to be defiled by them I am the Lord sorry mama I see you can't rejoice don't make nobody see it. look straight ahead at the bishop don't make nobody see that, that you feel bad just look straight at the bishop don't worry look beside you or around you just look straight ahead Regard not them that are familiar spirit, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Only here you get this. Only a temple of praise. Only a temple of praise. Only a line you hear this. If you're sick, you come here, I know what to do. We pray the prayer of faith, miracle and deliverance and breakthrough. Anything you want to bring, you bring it. Cloth, nighty. We send nighties to hospital, pajama to hospital, handkerchief to hospital, apron to hospital, and him to them. We see t-shirts into prison, handkerchiefs into prison, and victory comes. 
For we walk by faith. Not by what you see and feel. Sorry, mama. I, I know you feel bad. Look straight ahead at me. Don't make nobody know it's you me talking. You grow up in a, the whole system, in a, your family. You grow up, can see your mother go hope your man. Your auntie and your uncle and your aunt. And you follow them. You don't break the curse and the spell. And tell your children, long as we know brother Gigi. Long as I go to temple of praise fasting. And go to his service. Our hands will become clean. Lift up your hand. Our hands will become clean. If I die, let me die. And I declare you shall not die. Psalm 118, 17. But live and declare the glory of God. Somebody lift up a praise and declare with your mouth. I shall not die. But live and declare the glory of God. I'm closing. Sit down. And feel like I gotta tell you something. And feel like I gotta tell you something. I gotta tell you this morning. That I know some of you live around some wicked people. And I know they have done you some evil things. And I've sent some evil powers and forces around your house to, def to wipe you out and to destroy you and your children. And may I tell you that they don't like you because you're a woman of God. They don't like you because they hear you praying. And if it had not been for the angel of mercy, you would be a dove cut and murderous. But God is your deliverer. God is your help and your sustainer. For God you live and for God you die. Put not your hands to iniquity and don't seek after witch and wizard to be defiled by them. Let God fight your battle. Exodus 14, 14. I declare to you today that the Lord shall fight for you. Let God fight your enemy. They may be on the aeroplane flying to New York, but God will fight for you. They may be on the aeroplane flying to Chicago, but God will fight for you. They may be on the aeroplane flying to Miami, but God will trail them. Come on, somebody. They may guard up their house with burglar bars and curtains but God will fight he'll go through the burglar bars he'll go through the dogs he'll go through the house he'll fight for you let God fight for you every day of your life tell God the battle is not man it is the Lord the Lord shall fight for you and he shall hold your peace trust in the Lord and do good and he shall bring it to pass. Put your trust. Put your hope. Put your faith. Put your mind. Put your spirit. Put your body unto God. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord deliver him out of them all no weapon somebody help me here huh? no weapon no 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 weapon no 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 weapon that is formed against you it shall not prevail it shall not prosper it shall not overcome you no dolly i said no dolly no pricking up dolly no evil powers 
Satan prevail against you. Fix me up there where you take me to the valley for. It shall not. From a little boy, from a little boy, I know that. From a little boy, I live that. I told you I've been, I've carried people to places where I could know things. But God, I live, for God I live. I will not defile myself. I could not be preaching like this if I defile myself. Trust in the Lord if you're sick and afflicted. God will bring you out. God will bring you up. He'll bring you out. And he'll bring you over. Somebody lift up your hand. And as I close, if for any reason in your life you did fail and get timid and shaky and you went to a witch and I hope you're a man, I said, Lord, to forgive you. We're going to pray a prayer of forgiveness, all of us. Pray of mercy. Catch yourself. Say, God. God, I didn't know you then. I did not meet the preacher yet. I didn't meet, come to this church. And if you're here and practicing witchcraft, hell fire is too good for you. Let it go. If you're planning anything, let it go. If you're contemplating anything, let it go. And your enemy will become your friend. They'll even come over and confess. And say, woman of God. Please forgive me. And pray for me. I tried to kill you. I tried to mash up your children. But I could not prevail. And God warned me in my vision. To take my hands off. God warned me in a vision. To stop fight you. Because you are his daughter. And I cannot prevail. Pray for me. Put your hand and pray for me. Have mercy oh God upon me. Come sister Copa put your hand and pray for me. Oh God forgive me. And my wickedness and my evil. Forgive me. For my iniquity and my transgression. Forgive me. Wash me and cleanse me. I never go the way of Balaam and Balak. Give me a clean hands and a clean heart. Have mercy upon me. And forgive me, O oh God. Amen. If you come for special prayer, it's already been released. You have prayed the prayer of release. When you haven't troubled anybody, you, you haven't break down anybody's house. They can't charge you for bur burglary. They can't charge you for assault. Woman. Can't charge you for burglary. Can't charge you for assault. God has done the job. Do your job what I say. Stretch your hands over there. Every funeral arrangement. Every pre-prescribed debt. Every undertaker fee. Cancel. In the name of Jesus. Every cremation fee. Every funeral procession, every cancer bill, tumor bill, blindness, deafness, cancel. Stretch your hand and declare cancel. In the name of Jesus. Purify the water. Living fire. Purify the oil. 
Let the anointing be strong. Passport visa. Documents for lawyer courthouse. Injunction against the enemy. Stop out against the wicked. Lord, bring me up. Bring me out. Bring me over. Lord God, I pray for my family online. Every newcomer, bless them. Every old timer, bless them. Provide for them. Keep them safe. Keep them warm. Keep the fire, the heat of God in their life. May they never be hungry, naked, or poor. May they never be put out on the street. Provide rent and mortgage in the name of Jesus. Oil for healing, water for drinking in the name of Jesus. Bless their loved ones across Jamaica land, across America, across Canada, United Kingdom, Cayman Islands, around the Caribbean and around Jamaica. Keep your hand upon us. Bless us and prosper us. Deliver and fight for us. Defend us. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. And everybody say amen. amen. Lift your hand for the blessing. According to number 6 and 24. Number 6, 24. The Lord bless you and keep you. Businessman on Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Businessman. Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. Build a wall of fire, smoke scream, defense, deliverance, protection upon your business, upon your family, upon your household. And Lord, bless my partners in Ontario. Bless them in Edmonton. Bless them British Columbia, Saskatchewan, New York, New Jersey, Saskatchewan, Philadelphia, Connecticut. Oh God, Chicago, Los Angeles, Florida, Tennessee, New England State. Wherever they are, Lord, that hear this word, bless them and breathe upon them in the Bahamas. Cover their family, cover their finance, cover their jobs, and cover their bodies and keep them safe. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.